this demonstration we're going to look at managing storage spaces by using Windows PowerShell. On my server I've come into Windows PowerShell and the first command that I'm going to issue here will allow me to return a list of storage pools with their current health and operational status. And the first command that we're going to issue here is a get hyphen storage pool. So as we can see I have two storage pools. Storage pool 1 was created in an earlier demo so operational status is currently ok, it's healthy. Primordial, basically default, it isn't, and also as well as read only, no, it is read write. Next command that we'll issue at this point here will get us some more information relating to storage pool 1. So I'll just clear the screen off. I'm going to issue a get hyphen storage pool space storage pool 1, and then what we'll do is we'll pipe that and we'll do a format list to get a lot more information. And at this point here, it's reported back all of the information relating to our storage pool. So as we can see, quite a bit of information that may be useful to us. So we'll just clear the screen off again. Next thing we'll have a look at is we'll have a look at the virtual disks associated with our storage pools. And we'll do that by issuing get hyphen virtual disk and then we'll pipe that and format the list. And that returns back the information relating to the virtual disk. So if we scroll this up. What we can see at this point here is we've now got information relating to the virtual disk associated with our storage pool. Next thing we'll do is we're just going to issue a commandlet that will show us all of the physical disks that we can associate with our storage pool. At this point here, just to make this a little bit easier to read, we'll just clear the screen again and we'll issue the following commandlet. Get hyphen physical disk and then what we'll do is we'll pipe where dollar underscore dot, so basically search for a list can pool, so can be added to the pool, equals true. And that returns back for me four disks. So we'll clear the screen off again. And the next set of commands we'll see will add physical disks to our storage pool. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new virtual disk. And the command we'll use to create that new virtual disk is we will do a new hyphen virtual disk, hyphen storage pool friendly name, storage pool 1, which is storage pool I already have, and then hyphen friendly name data, so that'll be the name of the disk, hyphen size, 2 gigabytes. Now what we'll do is we'll add some physical disks to that virtual hard disk. So we'll just clear the screen off again. First thing to do is just get a list of the disks, and create a variable called $CanPool. Then the next thing to do is to actually add these disks to our storage pool. And we'll issue an add hyphen physical disk, space hyphen physical disks, space dollar can pool, so that's our variable, space hyphen storage friendly name, space storage pool one. Now we've done that, we'll just come back to server manager. So at this point here we can see storage pool one. What we can also see down here now we have our data disk, and if we just scroll this down, what we can see at this point here, we've now got two, four, six, seven disks associated with our storage pool. In the earlier demo, we only added five. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.